Hello and welcome, this is Edward, and in this episode of Greg Tech from Scratch I will be showing you all of the tools and items in Greg Tech. Now this range from things from uh, upgraded Lapatron crystals and lab packs to tools with their own unique, uh, unique functionality. So let's get started. First off we've got the Ultimate Cheat Armor which can only be um, acquire in creative mode, it's an uh, item meant for admins uh, gives you a bunch of benefits like invisibility and uh, there you go um, it will last forever, can uh, make you go faster, jump faster etc and it's mainly meant to use for admins when they have to do uh, you know admin stuff so uh, next up we've got the flint mortar which you craft with a bowl and a flint and you can use to um, make dusts out of some ingots and it, it doesn't have a lot of recipes just these four pages and it's meant to be kind of like a low level um, macerator an upgraded version for that is the iron mortar which requires two refined iron and five uh, stone brick type of items and you can use to make a few more recipes than the uh, basic mortar and you can see them all here you can all, you can make a few more dusts than the other one next up the structure pack you craft it with four advanced circuits one lava bucket and either four refined iron plates or four aluminium plates it's basically a portable trash bin you right click it and you've got this interface, any item you move in the X here will be destroyed forever the, without you know, using any energy so a portable, portable um, item destroyer next up we've got the Lapotronic Energy Orb which you craft like this, 8 Lapotron crystals or upgrades and 1 Iridium plate uh, it's the next year of uh, um, energy storage items so it comes right after the Lapotron crystal it, it's able to store 10 million EU and you cannot use it in tier 3 machines like the MFSU you need to craft yourself a tier 4 machine like an adjustable storage unit um, which is an item introduced by Greg Tech so you can use it to charge this block or you can use it you can use the block to charge the item and it acts exactly as um, as a Lapotron crystal but with increased capacity uh, next up we've got the cloaking device this is a device that stores 1 million not 10 million EU and makes you invisible and you craft it like this 4 chrome ingots, 4 iridium plates and 1 energy orb upgrade or lapotronic energy orb uh, you equip it in your chest slot and you'll become invisible instantly it doesn't last long as you can see the energy is going down quite fast and that's what it does now here we've got a tool that has three tiers the iron jackhammer, the steel jackhammer and the diamond jackhammer and basically they are made to break stone really fast so the iron jackhammer you make with a battery, a circuit and three refined iron the steel jackhammer you make with an advanced circuit three steel and one ARB, uh, E battery and the diamond jackhammer which is the best one you have to use two titanium, one diamond dust, one advanced circuit and one energy crystal uh, now if I place some uh, stone here to demonstrate uh, let's try the lowest tier of jam uh, jackhammer destroys them at this speed uh, then the tier 2 of jackhammer destroys them a little bit faster and the diamond jackhammer will destroy them almost instantly uh, alright what do we have here Light Helmet. It's an item that makes you uh, produce a little bit of light around you and when you move it'll move with you. Uh, it also works underground but less reliable reliably since it consumes energy. Next up we've got the Data Orb. The Data Orb is able to store reactor plants and sonectron compositions and this is how it works. Let's say you have a Greg Tech computer cube in one in one base and you've got your reactor uh, simulation store here 
let's say it looks like this and there's another base where you have another Greg Tech computer cube or uh, or even you don't have one but you want to move uh, this one to the other base without you know with while keeping the design well with a data orb you can you can right click on one computer cube uh, to store the reactor plan there you go and then you can shift right click on the other computer cube and it should put the design in here uh, you can also use a data orb to move compositions of a sonic turnaround uh, let's put some music in here there you go and now if I uh, right click then it'll say uh, Sonictron data blah 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 and I can just shift right click on another Sonictron and it'll put the same composition there so that's how the data orb works next up we've got the Laptron pack which you craft with these expensive components four energy flow circuits, one lag pack, one iridium plates, two superconductor uh, superconductors and one Lapotronic energy orb um, basically it's the next tier of lab packs it's able to store 10 million EU and of course you keep it in your chest uh, since it's, it's a tier 4 item you cannot use it in an MFSU, you can only use it in tier 4 um, storage units like the adjustable storage unit here or the charge mat for example um, alright so next one is the rock cutter the rock cutter is crafted like this two titani titanium plates, three diamond dust, one circuit and a battery and basically it's a tool that has silk touch incorporated without needing to enchant it. Uh, if I get myself some iridium ore for example which normally drops um, this uh, iridium ore item here if I use this um, the cutter then I'll be able to get the block because it has uh, silk touch and it says silk touch 3 but that doesn't change anything it's exactly the same thing as if it had silk touch 1 and there you have it. So, silk uh, rock cutter, a tool with silk touch incorporated. It's really slow though, so keep that in mind. Now, the crowbar and screwdriver are used to interact with covers. If you saw my um, the episode on covers, you'll be able, to, uh, you'll remember what they do. But basically, they're used to either remove covers from machines or to screw some special covers on machines and you craft them uh, like this the screwdriver with a refined iron and a stick and the crowbar with four blue ink type of items and three refined iron ingots uh, now we've got the portable scanner which is able to tell you a lot of information on a machine like uh, the blast resistance, the maximum energy capacity, max safe input max energy output etc um, it's also able to tell you if a machine has upgrades and what upgrades it has uh, it consumes energy so you want to have some kind of uh, lap pack to charge it or something like that uh, next up the debug scanner is exactly like the portable scanner except you cannot craft it, it's an item meant for server admins and it does exactly the same thing uh, here we've got Brain Tech Aerospace Advanced Reinforced Duct Tape FAL84 um, cannot craft it and cannot currently be used for anything I've read that uh, in the future it will be given a use uh, something about fixing but for now you cannot um, use it for anything and here we've got the Sonictron the Sonictron is crafted in an assembling machine with four data storage circuits and a Sonictron block um, basically it has the same functionality as the, as the data orb but only for Sonictron blocks, so it can get uh, one of the compositions of a Sonictron block with right click and then you can load it into another one with shift right click as you can see uh, it also it's supposed to let you play music on the go by right clicking it but um, it's buggy for me right now so I cannot show you that functionality uh, next item is the lithium battery which you craft um, like this with some lithium, lithium cells and aluminium plates and gold cable 
and you can use it in many recipes that require energy crystals as a substitute for example to make MFEs or mining lasers um, and it also acts as a battery uh, another recipe from Greg Tech is the lithium backpack that actually uses those new lithium batteries to be, um, you know, in the crafting recipe you get six lithium batteries, one aluminum plate and one advanced circuits and you get yourself a lithium backpack which is like a lab pack with 600,000 capacity and it acts exactly the same way as a lab pack and we also got some reactor components uh, Greg Tech adds a bunch of reactor components uh, 60k, 180k, 360k coolant cells um, and then you have the same but uh, the helium version and the coolant cells you craft with potassium, tin, sodium cells and 10, 10k coolant cells and the helium ones you craft with uh, tin and helium cells and then of course you have the uh, you know advanced versions that you need um, dense copper plates for and tin and more tin to make the 180k and the same thing for the helium ones and basically they act like coolant cells with uh, that capacity additionally you've got thorium cells and plutonium cells um, thorium cells uh, generate half as much energy as an uranium cell but it produces energy much much slower so uh, it's also going to generate much much less heat uh, on the other side of the scale we've got plutonium cells that generate twice as much power as uranium but it also generates uh, much more heat and it has a lifetime of 20,000 seconds so um, there's also upgraded versions of these ones just like there are uh, upgraded versions of the uranium cells quad and dual you got the dual and quad thorium cells and dual and quad uh, plutonium cells one last component of nuclear reactors added by Greg Tech is the iridium neutron reflector, which you craft with thick with uh, eight thick neutron reflectors on one iridium plate, and it basically acts as a neutron reflector that will never run out of durability. So you can just have your cells react with it, and it will never uh, break. So those are all of the items and tools in Greg Tech. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time.